Estamos celebrando o Jubileu de Prata do Agita São Paulo. 25 anos de lutas, de vitórias, enfim, de grande energia colocada por diferentes parceiros. E tem uma parceira muito especial, que é a doutora Fiona Bu, que é a diretora da área de atividade física da Organização Mundial da Saúde. Nós temos o prazer de compartilhar com vocês a mensagem que ela falou durante a solenidade de celebração dos 25 anos do Agita São Paulo. Escutem, curtam e celebrem. 25 anos de Agita. Vamos continuar agitando. And I hope, Victor, I have just said good morning, good afternoon, good evening from Geneva, congratulations and happy birthday. Can I confirm you can hear me, Victor, and everything is transmitting from Geneva? Thumbs up from someone. Thank you. So a very good evening and what a pleasure it is to join you, Victor, colleagues, friends from Agita from Selavis, from the global family of physical activity. I join you from Geneva, the World Health Organization, to share the celebration, but to also use it as a moment to reflect. And as we reflect on the enormous work that we have seen Victor summarize in the slides, pictures, and energy just now, Let me also highlight some of those major achievements to the global agenda and the regional agenda, and of course in Brazil and your neighboring um, uh, countries. It, it seems a long time ago, but establishing a day on physical activity, reminding us annually of the importance And to achieve that, there was a lot of science, a lot of advocacy, a lot of politics. And those three things are still needed today. But we've celebrated the um, Agita Day back in 2002. We've continued to celebrate the World Move uh, Day for Physical Activity. And we've continued to build an incredible scientific base for the multiple benefits of physical activity. And this work will continue, but we have reached a point where we have really strong evidence summarized in policy at the global level with back in 2004, the global strategy, but now the new global strategy going out to 2030. We have guidelines that really summarize and go beyond just physical health to recognize um, mental health and important population groups. And we've got tools and resources and Victor, your slideshow showed how innovative you have been through the in different settings, in different populations, with different messages. And not just once, not just twice, repeatedly providing that energy and messaging that's needed. That was successful for tobacco control, and it will be and, and is necessary for the physical activity agenda. There's been major achievements from the community of Ajita and the family that's contributed to Lancet special issues, which are really pushing the boundaries, looking at systems approaches, connecting now with infectious disease and COVID, and the manifesto showing that it remains important today and even more important today and tomorrow. COVID has been a wake up call. It has shown us all the importance of being active every day. We've been constrained, restricted. We haven't been able to do the things we enjoy and be with the people we enjoy and love. And so COVID can be an opportunity for us to recognize and push physical activity further and faster. And we must because of the health impacts of COVID. Let me highlight that WHO is taking physical activity very seriously. I'm delighted we now have a physical activity unit as part of the health promotion department, resourced and with staff. Of course we need more resources and staff, but we are in the organogram showing how contributing to disease prevention, health promotion, but also in the areas of urban health, active aging, child and uh, development and all of those in between we really are have achieved a lot together but 
and COVID has been a but. And we've just released, I hope and encourage you all in your meeting to look at Fair Play, WHO's advocacy tool, a reflection and stock take from the COVID experience. We know physical activity is a policy win-win. We know what to do. We have solutions. But we know what we're doing now is unfair and uneven. I say that with seriousness. Some people have safe cycling and walking, access to parks, quality physical education, sporting uh, opportunities, but not everyone, not fairly, not affordable, not safely. And that is our challenge. We need to call out the inequity and we need to challenge the politicians to use the human rights tools that they signed up for to deliver a much fairer, inclusive system. And I invite you as a Jita family and across the family in Latin America to join and support WHO, to lead like you have for the last 25 years with the science, with the translation to practice, with the capacity building and with your political and advocacy hats. We need you now more than ever. I congratulate you on 25 years and I look forward to many more. And thank you for allowing me to join. I wish you very well from Geneva for your meeting. Obrigado.